now i am going to create a right python functions now right python functions let me open the right uh, python file right python file so guys here to create a python function uh, we use a, a keyword that is a def keyword we use a def keyword right right now uh, guys observe i'll take two numbers from user and i want to find uh, the highest number of the highest number of uh, two given numbers i want to find right the highest highest number of two given numbers by user two given numbers by user right so uh, first what do we do i'll take the data from user i'll take two numbers from user okay two numbers from user so to take the data from user we use a function called the we use a function called the which function input function okay input function so observe guys uh, input of input of i'll take enter first number enter first number into a variable uh, so this input function reads data in the string format string format but i want into integer format that's why we'll take a int of here we'll take the int of type converting then take it on variable name suppose num1 equal to number one enough now i take the second value also from user input then enter second number enter second number that's all again now i convert into integer type then take it to uh, number two guys now what is variable name num2 that's all now so num1 and num2 are having the values which are giving by users which are giving by the user suppose uh, for num1 he is giving the uh, suppose 10 here and for second number he is giving a uh, suppose 20 here at uh, 20 here then so what will happen here internally this 10 uh, this value 10 right value 10 uh, will assign to which variable now will assign to the okay will assign to which variable observe guys now the value 10 assign to which variable assign to assign to num1 variable right num1 variable and guys that is 20 assign to which variable assign to the num2 variable so finally the num1 has a 10 and uh, num2 num2 has a num2 has a 20 that's all okay 20 if you want uh, i'll run here i'll run here now number i am giving is 10 and num2 i am giving 20 here so so 10 and 20 are taking now okay and uh, if you want i'll take i'll print those uh, i'll see the num1 value and also we see we see here num2 right num2 value also and also check it now uh, type of num1 type of num1 and also we'll take we'll try here type of num2 also guys right type of num2 now we can observe here i am giving the number one 10 i am giving number two right 20 here see what happened here now uh, 10 and 20 displayed up first number second number display guys now and uh, if you want display type also we use a print here right i'm going to use the printer okay printer now let's try here i'll give 10 i'll give 20 right see now first number 10 second number 20 first number type is integer second number type is uh, integer so now both are the integer values both are the integer right integer values guys integer values okay fine now so what do i do guys here by using num1 and number two i'm going to implement a, a function to find the highest number of uh, these two num1 num2 okay right we take the dev i take the function name suppose uh, uh, max of two max of two it is the function definition guys now i give the function body some pass some dummy block right i'll take the function call name at a time what's function call name max of max of two i told you clearly the function definition name function call name must be same must be same okay 
and the function call has a the function call has a which values are actual arguments are which are used to execute the body to execute the body that's why so here this num1 and num2 i'm going to take a uh, in the function call num1 comma then num2 guys now now this num1 and num2 i'm sending to the function function definition to execute the body to execute the body that's why i'll take here suppose some different variable name or same name no problem i take a comma b a comma right a comma b so automatically num1 value will send to the which one a variable a argument num2 value are sent to b argument right b argument now just guys observe here so here function definition name function call name both are same and uh, here the length is the uh, two arguments uh, here also length is the uh, two two guys so length is same if you have the same length uh, then these are called the uh, fixed length arguments uh, fixed length in case of fixed length arguments uh, automatically the first actual value assigned to the first formal argument and uh, the second actual value will assign to one second formal argument so first one to first one second to second okay so now a and b are having the these user values indirectly user values indirectly that's all okay now suppose i'll print here now just i print a uh, print of a print of a then now uh, i'm going to take now print of b now let us see here what are the uh, a and b values i am giving 10 i am giving 20 which value is now 10 20 the a value is 10 b value is 20 guys now right b value is 20 see now first print a value 10 second print a b b value 20 here B value 20 okay but uh, my intention is not uh, displaying uh, a and b values uh, i want to uh, check it now which is the highest value that's why i will take if a greater than b then i display here which one a print of b else uh, else means uh, if is false right uh, then uh, I, I display automatically print of b right print of b now run this one run this one i'll take 10 we'll take 20 here then 20 is the output 20 is the output i'll take the reverse i'll take the uh object as now i'm taking here suppose i'll take 20 i'll take suppose 15 here then which one uh, what's happening here now it is displaying a 15 only here displaying the 15 is it right or wrong here it is a wrong should display which one uh, a value see here a greater than b right uh, then must display a what happened here we are taking the b that's why so in both the cases uh, b only displaying right now check it now check it now guys here we are i'm taking now 20 i take 15 uh, now check it now 20. okay right now so uh fine guys this is a, this example uh is over displaying the highest number over right but what i want to display i want to display see in this case i want to display the highest number of the highest number of 20 and 15 is 20 the sentence i want uh, what i want now uh, the highest number of highest right uh, of you guys now the highest highest number number right number of number of 20 and 15 is 20 like this i want to display now now currently only output displaying final value displaying but what i want now i want to display output in, in this format right for that one now what do i do i modify the printer i modify the print here now so i'm taking here observe guys i'm taking now uh, the highest right highest number of highest highest number of uh, uh, number of uh, what we do here uh, comma a under under then comma b is uh, which one uh, now yeah that's all means uh, the highest number of the highest number of 
10 and 20 is a 10 when if if is true if if is false i want to display b right b then i take same here the highest number of the highest highest right highest number of highest number of okay highest number of which one uh, highest number of right highest number of uh, a a right uh, and uh, and right and uh, b b is right is a uh, is a uh, b that's all is a uh, b guys now let us try it now let us try here same i'm taking the same uh, 20 20 and uh, and uh, 15 i'll check it now the highest number of 20 and uh, 15 is 20 is a uh, 20 let us try different output now it's different values i'm saying uh, i'll take suppose 200 under 90 for example right uh, 200 is the highest number it's fine it's fine but guys observe here in the single uh, in the print function we are taking the n number of variables we are taking the n number of variables uh, so when you, when you want to write uh, multiple variables with a string uh, then always guys we have to close the uh, uh, string and take the commas before and after the variable again uh, take the quotes uh, for next string uh, again variables again quotes uh, again variables uh, it's a uh, like a somewhat uh, difficult process uh, comma again quotes comma quotes like this when we have the more number of variables see at that time at that time an easy process is uh, using the format function with the printer using the format function now for the same one uh, right now with the format function, same print only, but by using a format function. Now the same one I'm writing here, observe now. I take print off, okay. Just observe guys, now I'm taking here print off. Uh, what I'm taking here, the highest, okay. The highest number of, okay, number, number of, uh, number of, right? Uh, number of, uh, number of uh, uh, placeholder and uh, placeholder is a uh, is a uh, is a placeholder so guys enough now i take outside of the string dot format of format of now guys observe here actually uh, in this uh, placeholder i want send here right uh, then uh, i want to take the b we want to take the a means uh, a b a so I take in a format of a comma b comma a. So whatever order you want display, the order of variables should be taken inside the for loop uh, format. Now we'll take here a comma b comma a. That's it. Enough guys. Now, now just to compare, you compare both the print functions here. Now, the first one uh, print without format. The first one. Second, uh, print with format. So the highest number of right A and the B is A. Here also same. The highest number of uh, what's first one? A right A will come. Next uh, so B will come here. B will come here. Next uh, again A will come here. A will come. That's all. This format function format function will send uh, these all variable values to the placeholders in the order. So first variable to the first placeholder. Second variable to the second place holder, third variable to the third place holder. That's all. Okay. So we have the variables. Uh, when you want to add the variables with the print function, guys, uh, the best way you read the print function is uh, with the format function by using format. Now, if you see here, I'm taking now suppose 20 and uh, 15, guys. Now, see, both are giving same. No difference is there, guys. Now, no difference is there. In the if uh, see if is right if is true now now so we are, uh, both the prints are giving the same process same output as it is uh, both giving same output guys right uh, no difference is there no difference is there that's why so we want to work with variables guys uh, the better way is a uh, format function because we're writing the print uh, see it's very easy here only one string uh, only one string observe now so only one time could start uh, start at the one time quotes and that's all enough between this one uh, no variables uh, i think is there here 
So outside the quote uh, string take dot format of a. What's first first variable a? The first variable will go to the first place folder. Go to the first place folder. Second variable value go to the which one? Right, second place folder. Next third variable value go to the which one? Third place folder. The order is important, guys. Now the order is important. That's all. Okay, right. Now just guys, I remove this one. Here also I do same thing, guys. Now here also what I'm doing now. I'm taking here print off. Okay, print off. Now same the highest highest uh, number of uh, uh, a place holder and a b place holder is a is a output b place holder dot that's all now outside the string dot format of now i'm taking a, a a comma b comma b that's all now i run this one i run this one i take first a small value suppose 10 i take the 15 we can see now same output came same output came for both the prints with with format without format okay now guys here we remove this one we remove this one right so 10 and i'm giving the six guys now the highest number of 10 and 6 is a 10 is a 10 okay right now let us see the flow guys now let us see the flow how it executing Fine. All of you observe here, right? So I tell, I tell this flow now. I tell this flow how it executed. Okay, right. So guys, now first of all, uh, I am giving the value ten, right? Uh, now this ten uh, will go right. Will assign it here now. The ten coming right. Uh, just guys, I am taking like this. Uh, the 10 10 coming right the 10 the 10 assign to which one guys now assign to the which one now assign to the num1 now guys here the num1 value is 10 that's all or the moon value 10 now immediately guys now in the memory right in the memory in the memory now a num1 variable will create in memory which one now num1 variable created created and uh, this value, this value as this value, right? What's the value stored there? Value 10 uh, stored, that's all. Over. Now, next one, guys, now I'm giving the uh, six, right? Six. Uh, this also will go to which one now? Uh, will go to the, uh, here, right? For second one. Uh, Observe, guys, now. I'll take here. How much now? Six is coming, right? The same six, guys, now. The same six. Uh, will go to which one now? Uh, will go to the num2. We'll go to the right um to guys. Okay. So guys, I why I'm taking the cross way. Why not like this means uh, so if I take on like straight line guys, they're coming on the program for that's why I am taking uh, some outside like this uh, to visible program very clearly. Okay, uh, now guys here the six coming right, uh, six coming here. Now the num two, which one uh, right? Six uh, immediately in memory, right? In memory. Right, num2 created, right, num2, num2 created, then now uh, what's the value stored here, 6, uh, right, <clears throat> 6 stored here, now num1 created, num2 created, <clears throat> okay, fine, now next one guys, now this function, right, uh, see guys, the first num1 is created, num2 also created, okay, fine, now num1 has the 10, num2 has the 6, uh, Next one, guys. Now this function also, this function also, right? Created now. This function also will create here. That function also is creating here. Is creating here, guys. Now, or I'll take, I'll take here. I'll take here. What's the function name? What's the function name now? The function name is the uh, max of uh, max of two comma. What is there? A comma b is there. A comma b is there. And uh, that body, right? This body is there. This body, right? Uh, that body will be here. That body is taken here. Okay, fine. Now, finally, guys, here, what do we have now? What do we have? So, num1, num2, max of 2. Those three objects are created in the memory. That's all. 
the stellar carrier here okay and uh, the num1 uh, has a uh, 10 uh, num2 has 6 uh, and the max of two body uh, max of two function has some body is there right uh, so that this all body part is there here i'm not writing here but the all body is available all body is available here fine now so creating num1 num2 max of two over now so max of two i am calling now i am calling right uh, when run the uh, when, when uh, this line executing immediately right uh, see guys now so first of all go to memory check it now max of two is there or not there and compare all the objects finally it reached the max of two yes the same name is there right max of two is there same name is there guys now means uh, the object is all defined is defined okay now how many arguments are there two are there here how many are there it also two are there fine okay fine guys okay a comma b is there and uh, in the function call uh, num1 num2 is there so the arguments also same length similar right what is the value what is the value 10 uh, the 10 assigned to a what is the moon value 10 right uh, 10 assigned to a means uh, the 10 uh, 10 assigned to a 10 assigned to a next uh, what second one here what second one now b right b uh, num2 right num2 assigned to b what is num2 guys now six right six uh, assigned to b assigned to b now j value a value 10 a value 10 and b value 6 okay b value 6 now this body will execute here that this word i did not write here right uh, so i will show you here i'll i'll show you here okay now finally guys now what is a value now a value is 10 because uh, the first uh, actual uh, num1 assigned to the a and num2 assigned to the b what is the value in the memory num1 value is 10 uh, num2 value is the uh, 6 okay uh, fine now so guys have done right uh, so uh, i'm uh, right the, uh, i'm checking here right uh, so max of 2 max of 2 is fine now what is the num1 value num1 value uh, which is 10 right uh, i am taking guys now i am taking here so num1 value is the uh, 10 okay now guys observe here that uh, 10 uh, assigned here also which one not 10 only it also same 10 guys okay 10 and uh, what is num2 value here what is num2 value here num2 value is uh, how much six right uh, uh, six guys here okay uh, six is there num2 is six uh, num2 is a uh, six guys enough okay uh, next one now so a greater than b what is a value 10 what b value six right uh, 10 greater than b uh, six uh, true or false or true true right true then uh, this if block will execute uh, if block will execute here now so print uh, this uh, string is there then in the string uh, take the first a value here take the a value now all of us right observe here so first of all take the a value what is a value here what is a value guys currently what is a value 10 right 10 is the a value 10 is the a value so so the 10 uh, will place here 10 uh, will place us next uh, uh, b what is b now what is b here what is b here what's b value now what's b value right six uh, okay six here that six will i uh, will place here six uh, and then again now uh, yeah what's a value now already 10 right uh, then uh, 10 will be there guys now right 10 will be there 10 okay 10 will be there so output is the as output now the highest number of highest number of highest number of uh, 10 and 6 is a 10 that's all guys now see same output came all of right uh, same same output came guys now same output came that's all same output came enough guys now that is the program flow that's the program flow guys now that's the program flow okay right now guys here the same program explain one more time uh, without uh, this all memory part guys now just let us try okay let us see without this part uh, let us see guys now all of you observe all of you observe right uh, in a simple way explain one more time uh, i am giving the number i am giving the number suppose right uh, 50 and i am giving here suppose 60 guys okay 60 some output came now all of you observe all of right all of you observe here yeah, all of you observe here uh okay i'll take here only now 
So first of all, right, uh, what I'm taking now, I'm taking how much here, 50, right? I'm taking here, how much, right, 50, 50, and I'm taking here, I'm taking how much here? I'm taking right, 60, okay, 60. Then, so 50, 50 assigned to which one now, right, num1, num1, and uh, 60 assigned to which one now, assigned to the, right, num2. Now, all of you observe here, it is the, uh, which one, right, 50, and it is the, right, uh, okay, 60. Then, uh, next, uh, this function body, uh, this function is uh, created, and function body, right, function call. Now, function call name, function definition name, same name, sir. Then, what is the number one value, guys, now? What is number one value? Right, 50 coming here. What is number two value, right, 60, okay, 60 here. So, it is a 50. And uh, it is the 60, okay, 60. Now, so the same name, right? The function name is same. That's why automatically again, uh, this 50 assigned to A, assigned to A, uh, this 60 assigned to right, assigned to B, assigned to B now. What's A value now? A value is 50. And what's the B value now? B value 60, okay, 60. Now, A greater than B, uh, true or false, uh, it's false. Uh. False means now go to else block, right? Else block uh, automatically displays uh, the highest number of, right? Highest number of uh, place folders are there. But J value currently now, what J value guys here, A value is uh, how much, right? 50. So first A value is 50 here, A value is 50, uh, comma. What is B value? 60. Again, B value, right? Uh, 60, that's all. Now, so this 50, uh, ascent to which one? Ascent to the first place holder okay first place holder that's all first place holder next uh, 60 ascent which one uh, second place holder again 60 ascent which one uh, third place holder okay so final guys here what's coming now 50 is coming and uh, right uh, 60 is coming and uh, here also 60 is coming okay 60 is coming guys here now the output is the highest number of 50 and 60 is 60. Same guys now, highest number of 50 and 60 is 60. That's all guys now. That's what uh, the output came guys now. The program starting from here, from here guys now. Starting from here. Starting from here and uh, ending here only. That's all. All of right. So, this is how guys uh, the uh, our function executes. This is the uh, flow of our Python function. Okay, right.